Hi viewers, welcome to my channel. This is Anthony Vijay. Today we are going to see about data types and variables in C++ programming. So first of all, we are going to see about data types. So data types are used to differentiating the data. Usually a human can easily understand the different types of data, but the computer cannot understand. So in order to understand those data types, we are using certain keywords to understand like integer, float and all. So let me see what are the different types of data are available. So usually data types are categorized into two types like primary data types and derived data types. So under primary data types we are having a integer, float, character, double and under derived data types we are having structure, union, arrays, pointer, enum. So in this session we will see about uh, primary data types along with uh, variables also usually come together. So let me see those things uh, through code blocks IDE. So usually uh, in C++ programming we have to start with the header file hash include io string. And we have to use uh, namespace std this is mandatory. In order to avoid name collision, we have to use this namespace std. std means what standard. Okay. So after that, we have to mention the main function having the written type integer. And we have to open the curly braces and close the curly braces. First of all, I am going to start with the data type integer. So short form of integer is int int. Okay. So we have to mention int a equal to 50. So it means the value of a is 50. Now I am going to show you how to print this. So in order to print out this value, we have to use cout. Cout is an output statement. So using this, we can print the value in the screen. So you see how you should come with the insertion operator. Insertion operator means two times you have to use less than symbol. After that we have to mention double quotes. So whatever we are mentioning in the double quotes that will be shown on the screen. Okay. Uh, the value of A is equal to. Then again I am using uh, insertion operator then I am using a variable a and I am end with the semicolon ok this is the way we have to use so usually uh, if you mention like this the output screen will show you the value of a is then uh, 50 this is what the output screen then uh, finally we have to end with the written statement ok don't forget so now we see the output of it see we are getting the output the value of a is 50 so this is the way we can print the statement okay so in order to find the size of a variable for example how to find the size of integer so for that purpose we can mention like uh, size of a is so we have to use one predefined function name is size of okay size of is a function size of a that's all okay now i build and run the program see we are getting answer as the size of a is 4 bytes 4 means what 4 bytes 1 bytes is 8 bits okay so totally 32 bits of memory has been created for every integer data so okay when you talk about integer integer usually takes whole numbers negative values and positive values only it will not cover uh, decimal values in order to cover decimal values we have to use float uh, now we are going to see about float i am replacing int with the float now so a equal to 50.12 so i am giving decimal value here i want to print the value right now the value of a is okay the same manner I am going to print. Okay. Once again I build and run the program. See we are getting answer as the value of A is 50.12. This is the way we are going to print. The same manner we can use for finding the size. 
So I am changing the statement as size. Size of A is the same manner. We have to use the same uh, predefined function to identify the size of a float data type. Okay. So, so keep in mind for float and uh, integer the size is four only. Okay. Now we are going to see about character. Okay. I'll talk about character. Character usually takes only one letter at a time. So for that purpose, we have to use single quotes. Okay, so you can use any character. Okay, so I am using uh, uh, V, capital V here. So I am changing the statement as the value of A is. Okay. So we are getting answer as V. See, the value of A is V. Okay. So in order to find the size, same method only. So I am changing the statement as size now. And same size of. So. Okay, I am once again build and run the program. Okay. So see, only one bytes. Only one byte means what? It means one character at a time. Uh, one character will take one byte of memory. So now we are going to see about uh, double. So double is a large size of data. So it's a little bit bigger than float. Okay, for example, if I take 0 0.34567. So some bigger numbers. If you want to print some bigger decimal values, you just go for double data type. It is easy. Okay. So now I am going to use this value of A is. So we are getting a value of A is 0 0.345457 like that. Okay. Okay, in order to find the size of A is size of A, it means we are going to find the size of uh, the see it is 8. So it's a double the size of uh, float. So float is a 4 byte in size, for double it is 8 bytes in size, okay, it is bigger than float. So if you want a bigger decimal value, you just go for double, that is easy. Now we are going to see about string. String will take care of uh, lengthy words, so it means more than one character. You have to mention the double words only. For example, if I mention my name, uh, and double, okay. So I am typing my name, Anthony Vijay. So I want to print this value of A is. Now I am printing this. See, the value of A is Anthony Vijay. So just we are changing the data type, that's all. Then we are printing. It's very simple. In order to find the size of a string, okay. We have to use the same predefined function. Now I am going to build a program. See, the string of A is 32. So this is the way we will get it. Okay. So keep in mind, this is what uh, data types. So uh, we have seen integer, float, character, double and string. So this is the data type. Okay. Now we are going to see about variable. How to use variable. So okay, because usually uh, this data type and variable usually come together. See here, string is a data type and A is a variable. Usually both of them come together. I will talk about variable. The variable is having some rules. Variable should not start with the number. So you have to avoid okay, this type of things. And at the same time, variable should not have spaces. For example, I am changing the variable as for name. I am giving as RD. Okay. So you should not use spaces between the words. So keep in mind you have to avoid this. So in order to avoid this, you have to join these two words. 
or else you have to capitalize the first letter of every word okay c for car it is c and for name it is m this is the other way of representation in order to use the variable you have to keep two things in mind the one thing is you should suppose to in order to use variable you suppose to keep two things in mind you should not start with a number and variables should not have space in order to join two words you can use underscore okay and at the same time you can start with the underscore also usually variable supposed to have uh, uh, like underscore alphabets numbers numbers should not start okay but you can use number at the end okay for example car name 5 you can use no problem it will run okay let me see it okay the value of a is now i am printing this okay see we are getting answer so the value of a is rd so keep in mind so we can use underscore no problem at all um, but you should not use minus symbol okay that is different so you suppose to use underscore this is the difference okay so this is the rules we have to follow for using uh, variables if you having any doubts just uh, mention in the comment box i will clarify your doubts and if you want to take any new concepts or new topics you have to just mention in the comment box okay i will consider and i will take in the upcoming sessions okay Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you very much for watching.